Hello and welcome to another GIMP tutorial. In today's tutorial we're going to look at how you can crop an image in GIMP so that you get the, um, the very best results when you go to get them printed at a professional uh, photograph processing shop uh, or chemist or something like that. Um, so basically the, the problem that sometimes these shops have is when people go to get an image printed they'll choose uh, an image size such as 8x10 you know if you've got an 8x10 8 inches by 10 inches frame that you want a picture for um, sometimes when you get that image back the image might be the wrong size so the piece of paper that it's printed on is 8 inches by 10 inches but the image might not fill the whole page it might have um, white a white border around it or white bands just on one side and you can see that that means that the image doesn't didn't actually fit in the first place um, and that's one of the problems that they have and a, a second problem that often comes up is having an image that is too pixelated which is where they've tried to blow up the image um, larger than it can actually handle and you can see all of the little squares all of the little pixels that make up the image so today we're going to look at using the crop tool to overcome those problems and they are very simple problems to overcome um, so firstly, if you want to blow up an image to, or get an image printed at 8 by 10, 8 inches by 10 inches, um, what that means is you have to have a particular aspect ratio. So your image has to basically be divisible by the number in your aspect ratio, which sounds a little bit complicated, but it's actually very simple. Um, so basically, if you've got an image that is um, 8 inches by 10 inches, and that's got an aspect ratio of what we call 5 to 4 so 5 inches to 4 inches would be the aspect ratio because the 10 divides by 2 you know, into the 5 and the 8 divides by 2 into the 4 so it's a 5 to 4 ratio if you have an image that is originally um, not the same shape so it wouldn't produce the same shape rectangle um, it's going to cause problems when you print it with these borders um, sometimes you can stretch an image so that it does fit the borders properly um, or fit the aspect ratio but then you're going to distort the image in another way by stretching somebody or stretching something so again I hope uh, this is making sense but really the solution is quite simple um, when you have the image that you want to make an 8x10 image of or any number will do for this but I'm just going to go with 8x10 at the moment um, you have an image like this and I want to make sure that it um, will fit an 8x10 frame so what I'm going to need to do is when I crop it you can see that when you choose your crop um, tool uh, which is this uh, little kind of scalpel blade um, you get some options down here that we probably very rarely use but we want to have a fixed aspect ratio now at the moment the aspect ratio is just exactly the same as the um, the pixel resolution of the image um, but you can enter in manually a, an aspect ratio here and I've got a little cheat sheet printed up to help you figure out um, what aspect ratio you need and basically if we look at this section down here um, if you want a 4 by 6 image then your aspect ratio is 3 to 2 if you want a 5 by 7 then it's 7 to 5 very simply if you want a, an 8 by 10 image then you want a 5 to 4 ratio so you can see these numbers are just divisible by you know 2 or in this case uh, or this is 1 to 1 and this is divisible by 2 and these are divisible by 2 um, and the 20 by 30 which is you know the very kind of the much bigger kind of almost poster looking thing and that would have an aspect ratio very simply of 3 to 2 so um, this actually has the same aspect ratio as a 4 to 6 image um, it's you know three to two, but um, instead the aspect ratio is divisible by ten instead of you know divisible by two as it is there. So all of this means that for our eight by ten image, we're always going to use an aspect ratio of five to four. So that's all we really need to know about that for the moment. So in our aspect ratio box down here, we just simply type in five colon oh sorry five colon four, so five to four. And what that will do is now, because we have a fixed aspect ratio, when I draw um, my crop rectangle, it forces it to keep those dimensions. So at the moment, this isn't necessarily 8 by 10 inches. 
but it's the same aspect ratio as 8 by 10 inches. And if I make this smaller, you can see that as I drag this down, um, this one automatically gets smaller as well. And it's keeping that aspect ratio of 8 by 10. Okay, so if I was to, um, or sorry, 5 to 4. So if I was just to crop on these um, rowers, um, that would be a 5 to 4 aspect ratio image. But that doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be the best possible image to fit the frame. And the reason for that would be the resolution, which is the second problem that we have. So firstly, we're going to pick a, a nice big image because you always want the most pixels as possible for it to, um, to blow up effectively. Um, once we've got a, a kind of area that we're happy with to select, um, we simply click in the middle and um, that will crop it for us. And then the second thing we need to check is whether the resolution is high enough for this particular image. So at the moment this is still quite a high resolution image. It's um, 3240 pixels by 2592 pixels. And we need to see if that is going to actually be big enough for an 8 by 10 frame when it gets printed. So if I go back to my cheat sheet, um, we're trying to answer the question, is my resolution high enough? Now, to, in order to figure out if the resolution is high enough, what we need to do is divide the number of pixels um, by 300. And the reason we do that is because photo quality printing happens at 300 dots per inch. Um, so basically, if you can get 300 pixels um, per inch of your image, then your resolution is high enough. So you take your um, resolution. So up here we've got 3240, and very simply we need to divide that by 300. So I'm going to open up my calculator, and we'll say 3240 divided by 300, and that is 10.8. Now because we want this to fit a, or to be big enough for a 10 inch image, the fact that this is over 10 inches um, means it's perfectly fine. If this number was below 10, then that would mean in order for it to fit the frame, we're going to have to blow up some of those pixels and make them bigger than they might comfortably fit in the original image. Um, it, if it's a little bit under 10, it's not going to make that much difference, but you're going to start to lose quality the more under 10 you are. Um, it doesn't matter how high over 10 you are, that will still work fine, but as you get um, below the number 10, that's going to cause you problems because it's an 8 by 10 image. Um, the second resolution we've got is 2592. Now because it's an 8 by 10 image, obviously this one needs to be above 8. Now because the aspect ratio is already sorted, that shouldn't be a problem. But I'll just check it so we can see that it is perfect. So we just divide that by 300. And you can see that's 8.6. So again this is over 8 inches, so that's perfectly fine. Now if I wanted to make a um, 20 by 30 image, um, this, those resolutions wouldn't be high enough. If I try and blow it up to those, because you know, the the one that I want a, a 20 on would be the same as the one for the 8 here. So because that's much lower than 20, if I try to blow this same image up to a 20 by 30, it would be really pixelated. But it will work for an 8 by 10. It would work for a 5 by 7. You just need to change the aspect ratio when you're cropping it. Okay, so I think that's everything that I really need to explain. Um, it's really very simple. Um, it's just a case of doing a little bit of maths and being able to fix your aspect ratio. Um, and I hope this has been clear enough. If there are any problems with this, then just give me a, an email and I'll, I'll try and answer any other questions. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.